Not so sure. Well, Hector Camacho is a self-described man with a mission. He says that about himself. Macho, he says, is just sort of his outward persona. But inside is a champion who has a lot to prove. When last seen, Hector Camacho was working on a gaudy combination. Becoming lightweight champ and heavyweight peacock and Playboy of the West, California division, which still left him with enough time to win his second title, outclassing Jose Luis Ramirez. But after the tumult and shouting, Camacho did some soul searching. Show business was not his life, prize fighting is. So the outrageous kid from New York packed up his sequins and boxing gloves and went east, young man, to Florida, to the rising sun, to an inland town, Clewiston, where he could concentrate on what he does best among inhabitants who are givers and who regard him as just another species of exotic wildlife. Well, over here, I feel mighty happy. I don't got to hear the bad gossip. The way people was trying to paint me just because I'm successful. But I also realized and I learned that it all goes with the atmosphere of success. And all you got to do is do this. Ignore everything and come out here and just be yourself. Yourself was a street kid whose talent and energy outgrew the streets. But at times, despite his attention to his profession, it also seemed he was trying to outgrow it. To entertain the people, you got to be a performer. And to be a performer, you have, you have to have your gimmick. Everybody got their own little gimmick. And I say, I'm a gimmick because I ain't no, no joke. This is, this is me. I'm flashy. I'm colorful. I'm very charismatic. I'm always looking like I should look, like the Macho Man. Yet, in his prime, the irrepressible Camacho danced in the ring only six times in two and a half years. He's committed now to making up for wasted time. This is good for my punching power. It's doing justice for my body shots. And uh, plus, I pretend this is Rosario's hit right here. See? That's where my hook is going to hit him. And it's time to hit. See? So then when I work on the body, there's no reason why I should get tired which normally I don't. But it's good because it makes me, it makes my upper body look like a man. I'm not saying that I wasn't one before. I'll train harder so I won't have a tough fight. If that's what's making me or keeping me from having a tough fight, that's what I'll keep doing. I'll come over here really, but if you film around here, you see all the trees chopped down. It tells you something. I don't play with my training. I practice my crab, I practice everything, you know, I just don't take my things for granted, you know. I want to go inside there and perform and look different every time out. I want to look impressive and be hot all the time where people are kicking for more. Before he could move on, Camacho felt he had to clear away people he thought exploited or held him back. One was his original trainer, Billy Giles. When Camacho broke up their relationship over financial disagreements, Giles lashed back, accusing him of doing drugs. Recently, Camacho fired his California trainer, Jimmy Montoya. Camacho has no manager. He resents paying people who he doesn't think help him. Battles with trainers, managers, and promoters has slowed but hasn't stopped him. Now he has teamed up with a wizened veteran, Marty Cohn, age 88, an unpaid advisor, happy for a chance to dance one more dance. Now I find myself this year even more lucky than last year. I got somebody, somebody that really know the sport, somebody that really know boxing, and somebody that really want to know me. His name is Marty Cohn. I mean, I met Marty about two years ago. If I would have asked him to be my advisor then, I would have never gone to the, to the disappointments and the depressions that I went through. Hector has found what he wanted, and what he wanted was happiness. He's now a happy young man, and that is by far 
the most important change, and everything else follows in back of it. He's smart. He's streetwise. And when you get a pupil that wants to learn, he's very easy to teach. Best hands, Macho. From my last hurrah, I believe he's my last hurrah. And I just get so much pleasure by seeing this kid happy. And I'm fortunate to find somebody like Marty. And I'll do my part. If he asks me to give him 100%, I'll give him 300% this time. Because I'm capable of it. My quality of a person doesn't come around every day. And if Edwin Rosario is any kind of a prophet, then Hector Macho Camacho will need 300% tonight. Camacho has painted the picture of this fight being a guy who's a hero versus a guy who wants to be. With some more words about the charismatic champion, here's Larry Merchant. I look at Hector Camacho as a sort of Rambo Liberace, he-man and showman. He's one of those rare athletes, as Muhammad Ali once put it, who dares to be great. His speed of hand matched only by his speed of foot and mouth. A dynamic package of energy and talent and raw nerve and arrogance. He needs to be a star. The question is whether in the lightweight division, the division with more good fighters than any other division, there's anyone who can really challenge him. And that's what we'll get a clue to tonight. For Edwin Rosario can fight and he can punch and he has been brought to a nice quiet rage by the constant hectoring of Hector Camacho. We're here to find out if that means war and we'll find out in a few minutes.